These are various youth and women groups as well as heads of institutions expressing their solidarity to the government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, believing that the renewed top agenda will address the numerous challenges in Nigeria. The groups distance themselves from the planned nationwide protest, saying the various economic policies put in place by the government are expected to yield positive results. Will be able to address the challenges of people, and that decision will stop at the end of the day. So, we as head of the institutions are calling all the youth, students, and workers not to be part of any form of demonstration or riot or anything in this circumstance. Let's find a way to the government is listening to us. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Mamman, who outlined some of the achievements of the present administration on the economy, agriculture, and security, among others, said the president is working hard to ameliorate the economic hardship through planned programs of action. He urged the youth not to participate in the protest, but to ensure a peaceful and purposeful engagement for the development of the country. Small people on the fringes who can take advantage of it. Uh, so we shouldn't allow that to happen, and that's why there is, uh, as a responsible government at the federal and the state level, uh, we are all on the same page as just communicating the same message that look, calm down, calm down. These are temporary hardships. Uh, you know, sooner than later, you know, we'll get out of it through various policies of the government. 